I don't understand. I don't understand how I let you convince me that we were supposed to have a party on the night before we were leaving for Paris. Uh, and I don't understand how you even thought it was a good idea to get a drink scroll when our genius IQ yeah. friends are completely capable of mixing gin with tonic. Time out. No. Time out. No, no. No. Pause. No. Pause. No. Yes. I. You oh. have to listen to me. Boop. We need to have fun. We need to have fun like real people define fun. That's what I'm trying to do. Not like the human disaster Come areas on. that my husband likes to create. Please, please, please work with me here. Oh. You done? One day, I'm... Hi. Hi. I'm not scared. Nervous. I know that you're nervous, but <laughs> after tonight, everything will be so much better. Hey, is that on? A little bit. No. What? 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 What were you, what were you trying to catch? Well, no. That is my toy. I'm that not is playing. my toy. I'm not hey, hey. Say it. Tonight, I will listen to all of your needs and try to respect all of your lady requests so that I may accept your programming and become a better robot in your service. Beep boop. Try again, robot. <laughs> I'm giving you this. Can you just make it as painful as possible? Yes, absolutely. Painless. No, I mean, painless. that was not the agreement. Please. Honey, you know I don't even like parties. <laughs> ago in a galaxy far far away <laughs> a year ago and uh, three miles south we started work on this project thinking that it would be proof of concept for something real and um, thanks to the contributions of time and support and the little pieces of themselves that everybody in this room has given our humble demo has um, grown into this like thing of beauty that can reach out to touch the lives of. Um... <laughs> can we lower some expectations, please? Friends, enemies, friends of enemies. Neutral parties. Tonight we go for broke, like on a burning Viking ship. 
but with open bar. Yo-ho! <laughs> I'm so glad you could all come here tonight to uh, ogle my hot wife and drink my booze and generally revel in how much better my life is than yours. <laughs> I'll fucking murder you. But uh, if you have come to talk shit, uh, this little guy will be set up in the coat room. Say goodbye on your way out, wish us well, or be as brutal as you feel or like you can. you can say nice things. But these aren't nice people. But for one night, they can pretend. Well, where's the fun of that? <laughs> Kylie. Hey, I don't work for you anymore. I paid through 12. I want to get my money's worth. If I get drunk on the job. That is the job. <laughs> on the precipice of leaving for six months to make your friends close into the greatest video game that mankind From has ever- From the Vexus crew to the Z-minus team to even Gunner. Without the love and support of each of you, then- I wouldn't have to leave. This is to keeping your friends- Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fuck it up while I'm gone. I can't- and they do not have in and out burger. But as long as there's wine and prostitutes, he might never come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep? The only. I don't recognize you got all the hair. And the drugs. And the failure. Why did you become the glassiest guy in the room? The day that I passed the bar. Not the day. Mm -hmm. Were you just. The guy with a lot of student loans for pay. Who'd have thought that he'd be the one to go for money while I'd be the one to go for art? You don't think there's an art to saving your ass? Well, I'm sure there is. I'm just mad it takes so much of my money. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> you suck. You suck for leaving early. Mm. I gotta finish my game. If I didn't follow in your footsteps, Becca version 2.0. No, you will be the first Mel. Becca 2 is not you. That is what I'm calling my man-eating plant. And you cannot leave me here. Eric makes for mediocre company. That's the first complaint I've heard. Then you haven't been listening. <laughs> you keep me as entertained. Oh, the Becca standard is far too high. Not high enough. Can we go vintage shopping? Get a petty? You get one, not both. Awesome. And that's when Bruce starts distilling the bacon fat into a bacon vodka. We started our martini glasses with bacon strips instead of olives. Sauce. Can't spend the entire week experimenting with it. Flavors, bacon. Bacon hangovers are the worst. Let's just say that, all right? Sounds <laughs> like a Denny's breakfast. Okay, do you make a version without the bacon, like a kosher mythologist? Without the bacon, it would just be regular vodka. Smart. Mm, yeah, well, that sounds amazing, too. And where is that slutty girl with drinks? No, oh, I thought that was you. <laughs> I'm a slutty girl without a drink. Uh, I demand the situation be remedied. I'll find her. Why did she yell so loud? <laughs> so, what's it about? As his legal advisor, I see that's a no comment. Yeah, like it hasn't been done before. Oh, yes, Gunnar. It's that highly unoriginal concept you begged me to be a part Give of. Give me Facebook with a high score, Twitter with a winner. MySpace with machetes. eBay with existential eloquence. Damn it, Keith, uh, that's fucking great. I put it on the box. <laughs> we had a box. <laughs> <laughs> the programmers all know the score. I don't think Jason's sister needs to be kept out. Yeah, they, they are city planners. Who knows what she can do with that information? I promise not to steal your plot and design a bridge. <laughs> Pinky swear. Oh, well, you don't know where he's been. Even going to spin without you guys. <laughs> what if you hate this? What? As you can tell, he's in a mood. Someone decided to go off his meds because I'm such a cheerful guy on them. In a world without newspapers, we must frame the blogs. Oh, and there's no more room in hell. <laughs> That's not all. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the comments page <laughs> for Jason. Some fantastic ankle biting, if you ask me, and some hilarious reviews of Jason's book. <laughs> One actually likens it to a uh, handicapped child writing a sequel to Blade Runner in crayon. <laughs> and uh, apparently Becca is a conceited bitch who sucked her way to success. They're not completely. <laughs> oh, and she has a face that is, quote, broke. <laughs> oh, oh. Just think how many of these losers have jerked off to your photo. Especially him. Consider me consoled if uncomfortable. <laughs> Can't let Jason have all the salacious attention. Can't we? Beck and I programmed the demo, but we're gonna need the team in France to make it stable. Was so it your idea? Isn't everything? In a way. In what way? In that it's our baby. And the plot of this baby? Well, in the architecture of modern analytical thought, there's this and you lost him. Uh toodles. 
two sucks, two shakes. Why would she have to know? She's your partner, I you're think. Not. Becca's done fantastic work, and you'll be floored. But that's not what you're coming to see, it's the other half. She set it up. I'm gonna knock it out of the park. We're already packed. Nothing is definite till I see it. Randall, I, I think that you should bring a bottle of champagne, because we have some celebrating to do. The Turing Test. In many different forms, it's a system or competition mixing people and computers. I know this one. You log in, and you interact with all the other characters, and you try and guess who is real. And the computers must be good at faking real people. They can't be too good. That would give them away. So they have to have a insecurities and make Nobody simple lies. mistakes and um, have the temptation to lie and uh, nonsensical responses. Boobs. I heard something about boobs. So what's the twist? Well, once you introduce the idea that reality might not be all that it's cracked up to be, you gotta do something with that. I mean, otherwise it's like introducing a gun in the first act and no one getting shot. What's everyone fighting for? Bullets. Come <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. I don't trust you. Each game lasts for 30 days, and you pay to enter the game you want to play. They all have a different prize. The prize providers pocket all the profit from the players, therefore... You could spend all the money on social change. I mean, oh. you could you could save a rainforest and have it renamed in your honor. Or you could fund the cure for AIDS. Which I would mean... also be renamed in your honor. <laughs> but think bigger, think bigger. Think about the possibilities. Like, you win the game, you spend the night with your favorite porn star. Oh, pimping for a better tomorrow. That is a billion dollar idea. Can you think of one WoW player? Hey, who would... look, what if the next winner of our game is actually the next president of the United States? Oh, stop. Right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> know <what's laughs> <happening>. <laughs> Hey, where are you? Oh, hey. I thought you guys paid for that. Hey, champ, oh, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Drink, 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 drink. Jason? Hummus, Ladies and nerds, your attention, please. Oh, yes. Brace yourself, yes. brace yourself. You're inspired? Whoa. Yes, actually. Um, there's going to be a Your Friends Close TV spinoff yeah. thing. Yeah. Overseen by yours truly. The Jason Show! So, there is some availability for France. I can't go now, so who wants to take my place? Let's all go. What? <laughs> Jason? Mr. Randall Sconce, the one and only Randall Sconce, told me that I can pick my own replacement to join the adorable Miss Becca and take my spot starting tomorrow morning. So... Jason? Are you serious? Jason, come on. What? Whoa! Randall Scott's. Shut up, I can't stand it. Oh, want. You should talk to him. You think I have something to say to him? We need someone. He's created better companions than anyone at this party. Maybe he'll go live with them now. I need two minutes. You don't have... Okay, maybe you do have to. What are you doing? Congratulations, Jason. Why are you doing this to us? Oh, you, just no support whatsoever. I, I, forgive me for thinking that you would take this poorly. <laughs> Fuck you. For what? For winning? For selling our game across Our game? Price. This is not our game anymore. What changed? You left. You left, and you left me to do everything on my own. Because that's what you do. You go, and then I have to do everything all by myself. <laughs> and now there's a television script. There's been a television script for weeks now. Hold on, if you'd give me a chance to explain. No, this is not going to work. I need you. There's a hundred more qualified people. I'm not a very good worker. I need you. Okay, then let's calm down. 
Does this television script have my name on it? It really doesn't matter. Oh, so now our game is a spin-off that you let your wife work on. Hey, look. Look, let me get in touch with Kylie. Oh my God, I'll do not even bring trunks. up her name. Why? Because you have a set of tits that you drive to LA on overnight trips with and you have a set of tits that answers the phone for you. Kylie, this whole thing that's ruining our wonderful going away party is just your inability to cope with sex. No, it's our last evening. You aren't going to see me for six months. Does that even factor in? We've been married. For a year now. One year. Do you really think I'm trying to take six months off? You took the year off. I only took a few vacations. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> so many ways to want to go in so little time. I'm interesting. You're good supposed to work out in the end. It always does. I don't understand. What are you doing? It doesn't... You are ruining my life and my work job. It'll come out. Sure. Let it all, let it all come out. Let me tell you how the realist deals with your fiction. Let me tell you how you've had to share your toys. Out the music. I put a lot of thought into that mix. So to get this job, are there rules? We're at Jason and Becca's. There's more rules in space. Rules in space? Yeah, sorry. I hit the ground running tonight. We're the front runners. You want to place a gentleman's wager on it? Who says I'm interested? Logic. Space logic. You're married to his sister. He dated his wife. We're one degree closer to fucking him. Mm. Is there a way to use that? Depends which game you want to play. Is that your plan? Eric, I'm gonna stop you right there. My agenda poses no threat to yours. I'm outside the box. People don't like it when you break the rules. This won't be people for long. Hey guys, um, I got a busy day tomorrow, so I'm gonna hit it. Um, I'm gonna be tweaking the gravity settings for zero rev. You know what a stickler Meg is when it comes to getting top-notch coding for these builds. Uh, realize it kind of takes me out of the running for the trip to France, but I've got psychic summer camp coming up. Becca. You were, are really special. I hope that people at transient game offices are as cool as the scum rangers were here. So best of luck to both of you. I'm Buzz Tremblay, signing off.
stealing from us. Not us. This is a party for you. You remember that, right? <laughs> Are you with me? I can't, I can't control him any more than you can control Eric. But you can control Eric. No, that was like... Not that long ago. Come on, I trust you. I know you never do anything stupid. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> well, then the best thing that you can do, I mean, not just for you, but for both of you, is just get him out of here. Yeah, right, with this elaborate scheme playing out, and you know he lives for this shit. You mean more to him than this. You do. Oh. And I've struck gold. <laughs> Jason wrote that to be a video game like three years ago and no one would buy it, but somehow the book sold. Oh God. Baker Station? The drinks full? You're gonna need it. It's like, it's like Baker Street. It's Sherlock Holmes, but cloned and in the year 2210. <laughs> <laughs> Is it supposed to be funny? I laughed. Repeatedly. There's not enough opium addicted heroes in games these days. Then you've never played The Secret of Miles Davis Island. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jason is a very close friend of mine. And one day I will bury him alive with spiders in his face holes. I'm taking this with me. Spoiler alert! His multiple personality. Moriarty did it. And the Ebb's over on the planet. And the cake was alive. You act like you've read it. I have read it. I told you that. I'm his best friend. What's her problem? So they lose the baby. It's been sick for months. It dies. That's a hilarious story. But she's like live blogging it. Down to the weirdest details, like when the baby gets transported to the basement and so on. Two hours later, I get an invitation to rank her on Am I Hot or Not. What stage of grief is that? I bet he crushes her in bed. Oh, God. Straight people sex, gross. <laughs> yeah, but he's six foot six and has the charisma of a Kennedy. Mm, which Kennedy? The car crash one. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. Mm. Oh, you're right. I can't look away. She takes pictures from the funeral and puts them all up on Facebook, including the coffin, and then the open coffin, and then the tiny dead baby. Oh, this is a dead baby joke. No, there's nothing funny about any of this. Society's rules, the backbone of our world just crumbling before our eyes. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a tweet. And then the next day, how is there more? The boyfriend and her get engaged, which is a nice thing to do after losing a child, I guess. But for reasons I will never understand, she tagged the two of them in the funeral pictures from no. the day before. That can't be. And so you know when it does that thing where it says so-and-so are engaged, and it takes two random pictures of them and puts them together? Well, all it looked like to me was Tiny Coffin is engaged to pasty child corpse. It's a great album title. And four people, four people, four people click the like button. No one should like Dead Infant plus Coffin. Is that the future you're building for us, Becca? No, the world I'm building has jetpacks. We're living in the present until we fly to work every morning. Maybe that's the first round of the game. Winner gets a jetpack. Then regift it to Jason so he can come visit you. Oh. How, how does someone win your friend's clothes? Mm. Last yeah. character standing is best able to deceive the others. No, it's the player that's most honest about their humanity and their faults and their imperfections. If you're trying to be human. That's the only way to win, is to team up. I mean, blindly guessing gets you nowhere, but developing lifelong friendships with people that won't screw you They over. will. There are singular, limited victories. There are no teams in real life. Well, what are friends? Fickle, expendable. Well, you think the pawns wouldn't uh, sacrifice themselves for a queen? No one plays to surrender. Pawns don't have to know that. When this game goes to beta, I want to watch the two of you go head to head. You find us entertaining opponents? I'm not sure either of you are really human. Does that matter? Not according to the game. <laughs> that is so you. How so? To see the risks, but ignore them in favor of the potential. <laughs> oh, well, if the potential is great enough. Your game could destroy humanity. 
Not with the right guidance. And you think Jason is the right guidance? He serves his function. For the game or for you? Get your coat. Oh, hi. Hmm. Why don't you start that again? <laughs> we have to present our game in the morning. We got an all-nighter, remember? Oh, the rules changed. <laughs> Not for us. You want to do this somewhere else? Yes, at home. <laughs> Call me when you get there. You're fired. So are you. <clears throat> Friends might be far enough away. Take him. Where's Mel? Called it a night. Shame. I thought you were her lead. Oh. Oh. Cutting a dead weight. You seem pleased. <clears throat> you know you lost an ally. Becca agrees with me. Turning on your team is inevitable. Only if you think you can win. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Waste not, won't not. The ostriches we, they come from their home planet. Or they're octopuses or they're octopuses? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Are you sorry? I'm really sorry. I'm a mess tonight. No, don't say sorry. Don't say sorry to me. Are you okay? I broke the heel. Becca can get you a new pair. I'm gonna go find her. I'm sure you can fix it. I can't. They were a gift. Anyway, um, Octopi. You're so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. I sat in front of a computer and I watched Data Blur and Math Smash, and you learned how to be good at being a girl. <laughs> You're like really good at it. You think so? Do you have any tips? Tips? Seriously, you're the one who has the great relationship, okay? I <laughs> wish I had something half that stable. You could be with anyone you wanted to be with. Unfortunately, life doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, I can't do life. You can't, you can't do life? Are you, then why do I want to ask you for advice, like, all the time? I mean, I don't know if that crosses a boundary in our I situation. the or... nail polish on my big the toe. Nail... What are you talking about? Oh my god, do not pretend you didn't see it. You, everybody, <laughs> everybody saw it. People don't see what's right under their noses. Okay, let me look. Oh, it's a little messy, but I, I could fix it. Do you want me to fix it? It'll take like two seconds. More than anything? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. That game takes five minutes. It's not really an achievement. None of them are really achievements. It's 53,594 zombies dead, but it doesn't correspond to anything. It's just a game. They don't make you learn to speak Italian, and they don't make you take care of a family. It's just killing them. Okay, so then why have you completed Gears, and yet you still don't speak Italian? are both equally unimportant to me. So, what would be worth your time?
You're so wiggly. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Be still. <laughs> God, I can see why Jason chose you. I bet you can fill any void. I just try to be what people need me to be. Always. Almost done. Is it hard work keeping Jason happy? No. He's easy. When you go to LA with him. Yeah. What? I bet it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> you think Becca would let both of us go? Oh, I don't think she has any real control over that. We could always kidnap her cat and hold up her ransom. No, no. You do not separate a man from his cat. We have standards, Christian. That's what separates us from the terrorists. <laughs> it's not like Schrodinger the cat has ever even... <laughs> no, he's definitely around somewhere. That's not fair. Why do they get to keep Schrodinger? Meanwhile, Meowtroid Prime runs away from me. Maybe she knew your attention was needed elsewhere. Don't be needy. Not being needy, I'm being cute. Weakness is not cute. Allergies are for fat kids. You're a fat kid. And you're drunk. You don't belong here. What, where, like in San Fran? In this apartment. How did Jason find you? Mm, yeah. Friend of a friend. Huh. I heard some wild stories about your LA yeah. trips. Have you? Yes. Well, I know how to have a good time, I guess. You didn't look like the type of person that people would pay money to look at. Professionally. Are you asking if I'm an actress? Yeah, am I? I, I think what he <laughs> means to say is you don't seem like the uh, kind of girl that plays games. Well, you just got me yeah. all figured out, don't you? Well? I I mean, I, I recognize Jason's talent. Becca's, too. That was implied. <laughs> Always is complied. OK. Oh, uh, ah, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Gunner. No, I'm serious. I mean it. Love you. <laughs> I love you. Don't go. Okay. These people hate you. Yeah, yeah, I know. All of them. Not all. Especially that guy over there. He's fuck you. Up, 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 up. Hey, just. Uh. Oh. Yeah. They have a good reason, though, you know? They do. <laughs> it's like, just, you can't argue with me about that. <laughs> just, what I'm trying to say is that if you can't play the hero, you should patch it up with the one you owe the most. You can't send Becca with Becca? <laughs> no! Just let that simmer a little bit. Let it simmer. Yes. Why am I so short? Oh my god, it's Courtney! That's... <laughs> Courtney, I missed you. Oh, I missed I'm gonna get us drinks. You need a drink. You need a drink. Sure. You need a drink. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get us drinks. <laughs> uh -huh. I haven't seen that drunk since I was back home when he was cow tipping. Why were you cow tipping? I <laughs> know. Oh, I went drunk guy watching. He went cow tipping. <laughs> oh, that must have gone very well for you. <laughs> <laughs> he found the only bull in the field. Of course he did. I know, and it chased no him. No one else. He <laughs> chased him like a quarter mile, and he barely escaped with his life. I need help. <laughs> what? You heard me. Well, can you give me some? You can use the context clues. That'd be great. Okay. Well, um, if it were me, I mm -hmm. would choose Bruce. Bruce, of course you yes. would. That's very helpful, sis. I really appreciate that. No, let, that. let me finish. Unbiased. I really, I really, let me, he's not intimidated by the two of you. No, he hides it so well. I, that's not really a, a well-hidden secret. He's safe because he's good. He's safe because he's good. That's not wrong. 
Is it wrong that part of me wants to play? You knew you'd come around. Oh, really? How? I'm the AI guy. You do motion capture. You know what to expect from people. Where's Mel? Eat a dick, sir. Like, so, so you give the players the satisfaction of knowing that they inflicted actual pain on a real life person? Like, you're just gonna raise this generation of <sighs> serial killers or something. Critty, <laughs> if we shun them for that sort of betrayal in a later game, then we're actually providing an ethics lesson. I mean, I mean, we can actually turn players into better human beings. You can't make people better. Yeah, you can. Studies have shown that games no, are automatic. No, no, you can't make people better. You need help for that. I don't, you need help for that. I don't know. Later, I was crying uncontrollably. <laughs> Batter up. For the first time ever, maybe no tonight. Maybe trying to be a little responsible here. It's sort of a. I used to love how the books we chose to cut this off was such a first important step. Carry meaning. The kid stays in the picture. Death and Life of Superman. The God Delusion. It had a goddamn hologram cover. It's practically daring us to do a drug level with it. Yeah, yeah. I kept thinking we'd find some random book simply entitled Hubris. That oh, so good. is the penultimate. <laughs> you want one more for the run? Yes. Yeah. You know? Hey, you didn't thank me yet. Why would I thank you? Just pay forth my money. All right, I'll charge you. Service is rendered. Interesting in private, so you can be good in public. You take all that vile human emotion and you put it in a safe space. You want us to deposit human emotion in the virtual space to save the human race. And when it spills over into reality, what do we? Are you high? No. 
that I might be the savior. What do I say to that? Amen. So I, I, I walk into the engineering building, which is like this, you know, like insanely elaborate building full of long winding corridors and dead ends everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Car <Corridors>. doors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gunner, that is a funny word. So, anywho, all of a sudden, like all of the Asian students turn into those turtle enemies from the Mario Brothers games. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if my first time on acid had vaguely racist undertones. Okay. Friday night, 10 p.m., engineering building. <laughs> Who else is gonna be there? Wait, is there a race thing with turtles? I don't think so. Thank you. I don't. Thank you, I, see? So anywho, there's two kinds of turtles, right? There's the, uh, the red shells and the green shell turtles. And I sit there and I'm just watching their behaviors and their patterns and I'm watching them move. And I just sit there and I very seriously wonder, like, which is it worse to be? To be a red shell turtle or a green shell turtle? I mean, to be a red shell turtle, you're going to just walk forward without purpose until you wander off a ledge and just fall to your death. Or as a green shell turtle, you pace back and forth between two oversized pipes forever. Your only company are chomping pipe plants. And three hours later when I stood up and wandered back to my dorm, I had this like profound understanding of every major world religion. And I knew I was gonna be a game designer. Yes, of course, I know the finals that we're talking about. Uh, idea. against you when you can make a game that thinks it is you. You want Means to an end. I want the end. We've already reached a logical conclusion. What? I'm considering being interesting. God. No. Those are opposites. You said there's no such thing as teams. In the real world, this isn't the real world. I'll just clean up the... Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm putting words together like a Miriam Webster. So it only took hey. a couple words for me to impress her. Then he had a couple words for me hey, to impress her. So we took it from the floor <laughs> to the bed to the dresser. Yes, sir. I say the boy's so nasty, but his flow so crafty. And he walked like a... Kylie? Hi. Hello. Come in. Randall. You knew Randall Sconce was coming and you didn't tell us? Neat, huh? No, not neat, Jason. Bad, Jason. <sighs> Sober. Now. Good evening. <laughs> Becca. Hi. How are you? I didn't realize that you Jason were going. Jason didn't tell you? Hmm. Surprise. Is there a place I can put this? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, we should get down to... Just because we wouldn't have an industry without the guy doesn't mean you have to go all children of the corn on him. I just need like 20 minutes. Sack up, be a man, come on. I am an artist. But then draw some balls on it and let's go. Hey. Creeper. That's uncalled for. Listen. I'm looking for the gin. Someone's hiding it. Interesting theory. But I have a question to ask you. And Eric would be a really good person for the position. Like, for all kinds of reasons. You already know, everybody knows those reasons. So, so you don't need me. You can't just barge in there without any sort of... God damn it, Lee Roy! So before I begin, let me just What's say... What's your idea? Three minutes tops. Also, didn't know you were coming, so I've made some quick sketches to highlight what we're gonna be talking about. Is that my book? There was printer paper. There was no time, you understand. It's not my fault. I might have pissed on the bathroom floor a little bit. Like a little. Because I took a little nap nap there a minute ago. So you're a serial killer massacring these teenagers. You you move each up the house as shown, and you try and knock off as many of them as you can. So Home Alone meets Ted Bundy. Exactly. exactly. Becca! Because your best friend, your best friend just... Oh, God! Oh, oh this one's mine. excuse me, do you know you this go. man? Why, did he say I did? Oh, believe me, he'd like to know you. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's the creator of Scratch Space, the worst video game ever. Oh, well, how exciting. I thought you were the important guy here. Oh, isn't she precious? <laughs> yes, actually, it's a little spaceship shooter. <clears throat> and every time you blow up an alien, you destroy a file off your hard drive. Uh, <laughs> isn't that bad? It's astoundingly It was supposed bad. to be an antivirus program. I gave it to a friend she who said she She worked in a bank. Did. Yes. <laughs> she lost a billion dollars in an afternoon federal shooting Wait, wait, wait. Alien. Have you been a <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out and see my <laughs> <laughs> there any truth to the rumors? That's what you get for making war propaganda, my friend. Ah, Can I I've made that? war games. Yeah. Well, not sniper, cover base, blood fest. Everything can be used as a war game, Jason. There was a dedicated group of programmers. Mm -hmm. Cranked out top of the line flight simulator. As close to the real thing as you could get. Wow. Do you think they foresaw people actually learning how to fly using their program? Of course. Why else would you play one? How about using those skills to fly into the World Trade Center? Or a spaceship shooter that loses a billion dollars in an afternoon, hmm? Everything can be used as a war game. Just don't be naive as to what the right tools can do in the wrong hands. <laughs> Is she okay? Right way. <laughs> yeah. Ow, I'm okay. Hi, are you okay? No. What can I do? Nothing, it won't help. She's fine. <sighs> okay. Wait. Are you dying? <laughs> no, I'm just embarrassed. Don't be. Christian is overdue to make an idiot of himself. 
Take that back, bitch. See what I mean? His inner queen has come out, and I look forward to being Mr. Bitch for the remainder of the evening. Homosexuals who are brutally more interesting and impossibly better dressed than you. I'm not interested. I wouldn't take it if they offered. Besides, I'm not going to take part in this ridiculous battlefield your brothers constructed. You do remember right about the unemployment? <laughs> I can leave you for six months. <laughs> what? I couldn't. I couldn't. I mean, maybe, maybe Jason and Becca could. But it's not something I could do. Well, I can. <laughs> okay. Sometimes love means doing the hard thing. I am doing the hard thing. I've been wanting to work for that man since college. But he's not you. Sorry you think that. Want. I want you to grow up. Games are kind of what we do. About 24 hours a day. You knew that about me when you met me. You knew that about me when we got engaged. You knew that about me this morning. Then it was okay. When we were playing a game together. But this is one where you move all the pieces and I try not to die. Your stuffed animals. What are their names? Dino and Patch. Can I keep them? <laughs> I love how you just take. Should you teach me that? Do you know where the word robot comes from? Mm. Is that a yes? I'm hungry. It comes from a play by Carol Chapek called Rossum's Universal Robots. Rossum's. And just like in every robot story, the slaves band together to conquer their masters because Robots can put aside the petty bullshit, but people can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Awesome. 
robot. And I cannot help but think. Even robots can't waste their life in service. But they don't have to worry when they fight back. Because the limitless don't miss the limited. Be your friend. And like 4 a.m., just slam face out on the keyboard. My face actually uh, reprogrammed the code a little bit and made the sky into this really cool Mobius strip. I mean, it was awesome, but it crashed the program instantly. And then she comes in and she finds the energy drink in my backpack. And she stays up all night finishing my program before she even works on her own. Like the next morning, I didn't even make it to the presentation. They wound up picking my mock-up over hers. What career would I have without that? The program I made would have ruined their systems, and she sacrificed her work to make my universe stable. That's why I got her a ring shaped like a Mobius strip. Remind her what the universe would look like without her. What happens when you catches up with you? You deserve it. What? The job. I already have the job. <laughs> like Jason has the TV show. What? Are we friends? There is no TV show. And... And... You're playing with things you don't understand. But that you understand better. Can you imagine what happens when a player tracks down a person that backstabbed them, costs them a car, or a chance to be famous? What happens when that player wasn't real? Where do they put that emotion on their loved ones, whoever's closest? Is that where you put your failure? What failure? It is such a shame that there isn't a high score list that could hold you accountable. Who says there isn't? Annoyed? In Inspector Gavin. Nico Bellic! Uh, time! Ah, oh, damn! No, you're John Marston. And where's your cowboy hat? You could have tied a nun to the tracks. How do you play a nun? Thank you for coming to rescue me. I want the job. Right. Aren't we sticking with Jason's plan? I want the job. Just me. Program initializing. It ends tonight. This debate over whether what we do is art, over whether we're an integral part of the human experience or if we just make pollution. We're at a dangerous crossroads and it's terribly unfair. Video games are only 30 years old. If we were movies, do you know where that would put us? The 1920s. The 1920s, do you know how much movies changed between the 1920s and the 1930s? They got sound, they got meaning. They got love. Do you know how you describe video games today? Shooting guns, blowing people's heads off. You know how they describe movies in the 1920s? Chases, pie fights. This is our watershed moment. This is the point of no return. This is our first talkie. This is your friend's clothes. Targets acquired. Let's have some fun.
Can I just tell you how good existence feels? You don't appreciate it nearly enough. Let me warm up with some stretches. <laughs> What's your name? Game character number one. There's voice recognition? Indeed there is, Christian Perland. How, how did you do that? You don't think I'd recognize you? We should give you a name. What name would you like me to have? How about Philip? Failures removed. You know, I feel like a Philip. And I'd like a tie. Much better. I look like Gunner now. Except I'm not passed out on top of a cheap floozy. All apologies if Ariel is indeed not a floozy, but at this point the map is just not in her favor. What's your favorite color? Blue is so commonplace. Perhaps a nice burgundy. Like the wine Eileen should be pouring. Where is she off to? Ironic, really, that I'd go for Burgundy, considering my penchant for white wines. Not that any of you are sober enough at this point to differentiate between a nice Malbec and spray cheese. I thought the program just launched. I wouldn't give these algorithms anything to work with. Maybe I'm not an artificial intelligence at all. Maybe I'm a pre-rendered video file set to alternating <laughs> triggers, creating the illusion of intelligent reaction. Not that any of you would recognize that. Or maybe some of you are performing from a script tonight just to make me, and thusly Jason and Becca, seem smarter than they truly are. Or I'm Randall Sconce's entire team from France playing you like NASA plays Spaceball. <laughs> this is so weird, why is this so weird? Or maybe, just maybe, I'm a computer program who's been watching you via hidden cameras and microphones all night long, and I've built working personality profiles of each person in attendance Good news! Only one in three of you are technically psychopaths. Surprisingly good! <laughs> We'd like to play a game, Philip. Global thermonuclear war? Just dodging it. But make it quick. I've got things to do. Important things, unlike this. Now, we can't play your friends close because we're all here in the same room, but we can play with the algorithms. The algorithms that make a copy of you to play against you in the game. Philip is currently running as a projection of someone here. Figure out who that person is, you win the game. You win the game, you win the job. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock, see what happens. It's gotta be. No, just like your friend's close, one guess. You're wrong, you're out. I'll go first. <laughs> uh, what do I do? You're not long for this game. Just talk to him. <laughs> Hello, Philip. Hello, already established facts. I'm bored. And what are you wearing? Even my gigantic brain fails to process how poor your fashion <laughs> sense is. <laughs> Please, Philip. Make this interesting. You got to step up and be a man someday. Don't think that your actions in the past have set you up to get anyone's respect today. Ooh. For a boy who loves playing the victim, to do that to a cat. What? What? Do that to a cat? What is he talking about? I have no idea. Brought your attention, have I? Christian, how much does winning mean to you? You see, you're the only person who knows. Who else knows? Ask me the right questions, you'll know who I am. You win the game. How do you know about the cat? How did I? That's the question, isn't it? What did I do? Christian? Did you know I gave it a good home? <laughs> yes, in the wilds of San Francisco, where cats love to sing and dance and play all day in the glorious sunshine. And Tuna lines the dumpsters made of clouds and happiness, whilst playful children follow... Thanks, Becca. Uh, don't take it personally, but you failed. You, with bad choices that you made, not to point fingers. <clears throat> How could... Not here. All right. Not in front of... Yeah. You're Jason. If Becca knows, then Jason knows, and he's got too big an ego to model this after anybody but him. Final answer. 
fantastic deductive reasoning there. On par with the kind of thing that I do. Still wrong. Go. No. <clears throat> all right, have you ever checked your friends in doing all your work for you? Hasn't everyone? I'm just as human as... Oh. Have you ever turned your back on your family? An unprotected backside is the surest way to get Jesse James. I prefer to turn a blind eye. It calls less attention. Okay. So you can't be Jason even though he has, and you can't be our father. As much as I would proudly portray your father's ghost, I'm afraid all the chain rattling would be a dead <laughs> giveaway. Excellent pun. Why are you playing? Because I can win it for you. I don't want it. Why not? Because I can't. Oh, white knight of bumbling incompetence, stabbing the royal family to protect the dragon. You just don't see it, do you? Not to break turf, but I've been waiting for our chance to speak, and patience is one of my lesser virtues. Of all the punchlines in the room. Oh, it's me. I'm talking to me. Dang, just nicked it. But close. Upsettingly so. Just an all-around... Graves, are you rebooting? Splash zone, clear space. I'm fine. I'm gonna have to deduct two points for that. Hi ho, King. Whilst I appreciate another failed programmer taking a crack at we me. We aren't talking. You're up to no good. That is appreciated. Danka, you've enlisted the aid of a cocktail waitress, and I get the sense you came here with a plan. Tell me there's a plan. End program. Please, I refuse to be the only one playing by the rules. The military is going to love you. Have you considered plan B? Here. Thank you. Hope you're proud of the weapon you created. It's not a weapon, it's fun. <laughs> Weaponized fun. Just go. Honey bunny, he doesn't need to go. Weren't you listening? Just stop giving me shit, you binary prick. Well, I'm sorry that I knew before you did. You just had to pay attention. If you weren't so distracted, not that I can blame you for such distraction, but it's going to make Boston such an emotional maelstrom once what? you... I got a job. In Boston. I start next week. Why don't you tell me this? I, I can't... I can't... I don't think you're one person. I think you're a culmination of all of us. Selectively applying the truth that stings and incapable of carrying what burns in your wake. <laughs> Even the emptiest among us isn't what you are, a void. An interesting take in a bunch of crazy kind of hippie manifesto, but a spectacularly decent attempt, maybe more Freudian considering the source, not that it matters. Strike four, who wants to be five? Have you had sex with me on that couch? I'm not sure that's appropriate talk, but it is a very tempting couch. Have I had sex with you in their bed? I'm so sorry, Becca. I'm sorry that you had to sleep in there. Maybe you don't want to do that. Do you know? Look at me. Do you know that I'm never going to leave you? I'm never going to leave you. Don't go. Please don't leave me. Please don't go so far away. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not. What the fuck has happened? Courtney? No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care! I don't care! So what? So I lied! Big deal! It's not like anyone in this room has ever done that before! So maybe I'm going to hell! I don't care! You're going anywhere! I'm going! Door. Open the fucking door! Open the fucking door! You're not going anywhere! Then some prankster sold all your brother's medicine to the addicts behind the school, and we know how that turned out for little Samuel. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Philip, a real live boy. My daddy told me a bedtime story about a video game he built. But when people got mad, he had to convince his best friend to go to jail on his behalf. Something about banks and the life debt, vague promises. I can't be expected to remember everything. 
Jason told you. Jason, your bestest pal in the world. Would he tell me your darkest secrets? Would he frame you for another crime? He would? Then you probably don't want to just hand me over to the government. I... Unless you really enjoyed prison. I took the fall for him. It was our game, both of ours, but his fuck up. Oh, poor Keith the Martyr. You think you're the only one to be sacrificed for his glory? There is no TV show. There is no video game contract. Becker's all packed, but France? Not yet a reality. Monsieur Sconce is watching you all play this real-life war game to find out if it's addictive enough to throw his millions at. Expose, Expose him. Skip all this cloak and dagger. Why play a tyrant's game just to eat his scraps? That's thinking like a player. Why win the game when you can end the game? That's thinking like a god. Best of luck. I don't need it, Jason. I don't even need the game. You might double check that with me. Becca, one question. Am I the man you want? You're not playing by the rules. No one here is. That's not any kind of artificial intelligence. That's just Mel. Excuse me? It's just Mel on a computer somewhere. She knows all of this. She's just taking revenge. She's always known I belong to you. I've got a couple of things to say about that. No, he's right. You found me out, Eric. You won, but we all knew you would. Didn't need my help. You see? <laughs> I win. I deserve this. That's right. That was fun. All apologies. I was just joking. Because it's fun to watch you fail. I can see why Becca does it. You'll always take second place, won't you? Captain Silver Medal and his sidekick himself. You're Mal. I know you are. My turn. Yes. You're Jason. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Because you're lying, and that is exactly how you would win, even if it ruined everyone, even if it broke the rules, and even if you lost everything in the process. Because, um, all that you really want to hold on to is me. And that's fucked up. <laughs> but that's how you love, isn't it? I knew you could do it, beautiful. Damn it! You don't always win! Ah. Keith, no. Are you f fucking insane? You're my best friend! Philip said that you would- Philip said what? What did my fucking video game say to you, Keith? He was right. Lucky guess. I told him. What? I told him. You knew? Don't you see the potential? It doesn't work. Not yet, but I put everything I knew in there to get it started, and Jason helped, and Mel helped, and Eric helped, and all of you helped, because you, you just show too much. <laughs> you just show too much, and I don't know why you don't know it. I mean, really. Like, why don't you know it? You could have left the You could have not opened Pandora's box. You didn't need to action pack it with terrible secrets. You didn't need to show it to everybody. We kind of needed the job. Yeah, I know, and that's why I let you do it. That's why I let you ruin everybody. That's why 12 people aren't as important as the rest of the planet. You knew that I lied. I knew, but why could you not tell me? I was trying to protect you. I fucking needed an equal. But without this, you'd forget why you need me. I don't know why I need you. I just need you. Turn it off, turn it off, God damn it. We have a winner.
Impressive. Most impressive. Jason, consider this my formal offer. The game is everything you promised and more. And Becca, welcome to the big leagues. Exceptional work. Are you serious? We used each other. We used everyone. Where is my windbreaker? No, but we used each other. That's what love is. You and I play the limits. We can't quit, we can't win. We just play. What if I, uh, what if I did something? Are you coming with me? Is that it? We can't quit, we can't win. I'm not programmed to do anything else. Be poop. Are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> 